Hello, this is John from Coins, RPGs, and more. And now we're going to do the second part of our sorting presidential coins. I really haven't looked at these much. I did glance at them ahead of time to get an idea of what was here, but um, you'll be kind of going through them with me. So that is James Garfield. Uh, who here thought Garfield was just a cat? Come on. Looks like 26th. <clears throat> there we go. Nice little patina on that one. James K. Polk. The 11th. <clears throat> James Buchanan. I have James's. That is. Sixteenth. Was the last one that I also put in that six was out of James Buchanan. Abraham Lincoln. So what's he supposed to be? Well, that's a, obviously the 16th. So what am I missing? This is actually the 14th. I'm sure that someone in the comments is going to yell at me. Fifteenth, I want to say. There we go. Got that straightened out. Embarrassment is not allowed. Not when you have. Not when you uh, are working under disabilities. You just keep on plugging away. All right. Yep. That is definitely sixteenth. So awesome. Hello, Mr. Lincoln. Into the bin you go. Hey, John Kennedy. The 35th president of the United States. 10, 20, 30, 5. Oh, no, that's... Wrong bin, here we go. The candy is actually hard to get because it was not, if I recall correctly, uh, presidents after a certain point were not officially circulated by the Mint. So, fun deal for me. Uh, James Madison. Madison is the fourth president, and this guy's got a great shine. This is probably going to be the one that goes into the book. Two, three, and four. But we'll see. We shall see. Uh, John Adams, a little, little messed up, but still, still a pretty coin. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. Was a satisfying thunk. James Garfield, much better, much more visible. That is the twentieth. 
All right. And let's go get the other James Garfield. Why did I think that was something else? All right, 20th it is, right there in front. Okay. Look at that patina. That's a beautiful one. John Tyler. If you've uh, seen the movie Tombstone, you probably know the quote that's going through my brain right now. 10th. It involves a shotgun. George Washington. Always a pleasure to see you, George. You know, he turned down the opportunity to be declared the King of America. How about that? John Tyler. Boom. Done. Who we got here? James Madison. No, James Monroe is the fifth. Hey, first one I've gotten of him. Ulysses S. Grant. You know, I got a soft spot in my heart for Mr. Grant. I think I've told you why I did a report on him. Go. Here we go. That's a Abraham Lincoln. Okay. Wait a minute. Try to speed this up a little bit. Ulysses S. Grant, that's a pretty good condition one. I like that, I might put that in the book. James Monroe. Fifth. Grant, boom. Turn her around. John Adams. That's a pretty good condition, John Adams. Not perfect. But heck, if you want perfect, I don't know, maybe collecting coins from loose changes, not your, uh, not, gonna, not the thing for you. But I find these much more interesting than trying to get proofs because each one of them has changed hands. You got just kind of wonder and think about where it's been, what it's been used for. Is this the coin that helped someone get groceries or do their laundry? William Henry Harrison. That looks like, put my glasses down a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna call that eight. Compare that to the other one I have in slot eight. Buren. Okay, so that's not him. Let's look again. Can't tell. I'm gonna have to set that one aside to look at under the magnifier. Rutherford B. Hayes. I'll probably just look at the video after I'm done uploading it and it'll correct me. 19th. Of course, we've done a lot of Hayes's already. Why did I hesitate? All right. John Adams. Another interesting John Adams. Let me throw that come off? Not really. That's all right. Mm. 
Looks like something just got delivered to my door. I just got a notification. You know what that means? That means I'm gonna have to... Andrew Johnson, what you doing? I don't know why I'm singing today. Andrew Johnson, James Madison, he's the fourth president we had. Let us see what is coming next now. William Henry Harrison, how you doing today? That is ninth. Okay, then I'm, hmm. All right, I must have made a mistake somewhere. No? No? Henry Harrison. There we go in that ninth pile. Okay. And Rutherford B. Hayes. You're a popular fellow, Rutherford. Got a lot of you. Not that I mind. Hey, Tommy. Thomas Jefferson, how you doing? That's the end of the video today. We'll do a few more searches on another video, and maybe I'll sing some more, hope you don't mind. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little segment of my little chatter. Hope you have a marvelous day. Peace be with you, always. Let's get a final look out. That's what we've done so far. Slowly filling up the bins. Let's uh, look, look forward to more. Like I said, peace be with you all, always. Bye-bye.